Good evening, I'm Paul Stolzfus with Keller Williams Elite here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And um, you know, tonight I was thinking about what book am I gonna read this weekend? Because I just read, a, um, well actually a while back, I read a Facebook post from Grant Cardone and he talks about the most successful CEOs average, how many books do you think they average? In the comments, if you're listening to this live, comment right now, or if you're watching this in the replay, um, how many books on average do you think the most successful CEOs read per year? And how many conferences do they attend per year? So right now in the comments, just take your guess. How many books do you think the most successful CEOs read? And how many conferences do you think they attend? I'm curious to hear your answer. I'll just wait a little bit because I don't want to give the answer before you post, right? <laughs> All right, so now you put your comment in, good to go, and we'll see how close you are. You wanna watch, Ari? Okay, you don't wanna be on the video with Daddy? So according to, to Grant Cardone, I don't know where he gets this, but he says the most successful CEOs average reading 60 books a year, 52 weeks a year, so that's a little bit more than one book a week. That's insane. And, and you can think about it. these most successful CEOs, it's not like they're not busy, right? So do you think these successful CEOs just read books because they want to have fun? Hey, Eric, can you not shake the, the desk here? It's shaking the video. You should be on this side and watching me, right? I'm a six-year-old over here doing art. Um, so, so could it be that these books is what actually creates their success? Or are they just successful and for fun read books? Well, I can tell you this. Successful CEOs are super busy and they're not gonna read books unless they think it's gonna actually help them get their job done, right? So I think there's some value in reading books. But the answer is 60 books a year. That's six zero, more than one a week, and six conferences. That actually surprised me. Now I understand that CEOs will go to conferences to maybe speak and just show up for their employees and their, their, their partners, but um, there's something to that. Going to conferences and attend and um, reading books is good for your brains. And I think it's part of the be, do, have. Like we be the person to do the work and then have the results. And CEOs have learned that when they feed their brain with books, and remember one book, one book is like taking 10 years worth of someone's information, swooshing it in and getting into your brain. So every week you're getting 10 years worth of someone else who's going before you. You're getting their success downloaded into your brain. Fair enough? All right, so there's two books that I'm going to be looking into this weekend. Um, I'm going down to Austin, Texas on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So on the flight down and back, I'm taking two books with me. Uh, the Golden Handoff, I actually read this one already. Um, this is actually a very bolts, um, nuts and bolts book and how to hand off a book of business. And the way this author uses The Golden Handoff is to um, actually buy books of business, and that's how he grows his business. So he might add you know, 20, 30 transactions a year by just buying someone's book of business. And he talks about how to prepare a handoff, hand it off, and then the follow-up. And, and part of it is finding the right partner to buy a book from. And so I think this book, there's, there's a couple groups of people this book is very helpful for. Um, someone who is, is, you know, has been in the business for two or three years and is ready to really build their business quickly. You can buy, you know, find someone that's ready to retire or soon to retire, partner with them, and you might overlap for a year or two and hand off the book of business. So you can go from, you know, 10 transactions a year to 100 transactions a year in a very short time. And you don't have to pay out, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in the beginning to get it. You have a very good way. Basically what happens is in a three-year period, there's um, a certain split. So if I'm buying your book of business, the first year... You know, let's say we have 100, 100 people in my list. And anyone who shows up in this list in the first year, I'll give 30% for every referral. The second year, 20, and the last year, 10. So it goes 30, 20, 10. So um, that's just one way to do this. And he actually has a contract, a sample contract to how you write it right in here. This is amazing. This is amazing. Also, if you're thinking of retiring in the next 5, 10 years, this is a good time to think about how you're going to retire and build your database and really make it good instead of just slowly kind of letting your business drift and, and go to nothing as you retire. This is a way to really crush it at the end, the last five, ten years of your, your career, and then find someone to pass it on. And then when you pass it on, you're going to keep on getting uh, residual income in the future. Wouldn't that be awesome? 
So if you, if you want to sit down and talk about this, give me a call. I'd be happy to sit down and connect you. I mean, all my, uh, you know, talking to realtors in Lancaster, we have 1,000, uh, 1,153 realtors right now that are in production. About 400 realtors do zero business. Isn't that interesting? So with all my interviewing agents and just talking and listening to people, I run across people who are about to retire. Some people are just coming in. And so I'm kind of playing matchmaker. So much fun. I, I can't tell you who I'm talking to now, but there's actually two sets of people. I've already, um, I didn't help facilitate them coming together. The one, I just gave them the book. And the other one, I'm actually helping to facilitate um, two people coming together. So if you're a person looking for a book in business, let me know, reach out and I'll be happy to connect you. Or if you're you know, looking to re retire in you know, two, three, five, ten years, reach out and I'll be happy to connect you with someone who might be looking to build your book. It doesn't matter what brokerage you're from. I'm obviously with Keller Williams, um, but I can connect you no matter where you're working. The other book that I'm excited to read, I haven't read it yet. This is actually part of our book club. We have a monthly book club and um, seven levels of communications. It's an oldie, uh, but a super good one. I it's so I was in a book club last month. I didn't read it, but Ashley was telling us how it seems like the author took you know a bunch of books and just swooshed them all together, and it's like the best of a bunch of learnings packed onto this book. It's a lot of uh, relationship business. You know, it's a referral based business, and Ashley gave the example of, and I love this. Um, this is the reason I'm going to actually read the book. So you know how we we make appointments with people, right? Like you go to a coffee shop, make an appointment at one o'clock, and then you know you might make an appointment at three o'clock, or you go across town for you know a six o'clock happy hour, and just just a lot of time spent moving around and wasted. So you might have three appointments. That was a great day, but that's like nine hours, right? And a bunch of wasted time in between. So what this guy does is he stacks appointments. He finds like every Thursday he'll have the same place he goes to, and he'll stack appointments on the hour every hour from let's say. You know, 10 o'clock in the morning till, you know, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon depends how many people he has. And so he strategically stacks people together on purpose so that let's say the 11 o'clock he meets with um, a lender, right? Talks to the lender. And then at 12 o'clock he might meet with an agent. And as the lender is about to leave and the agent comes in, he says, hey, Jack, why don't you meet um, Jill? Right, Jack and Jill. Um, and they kind of make a connection. Right? Isn't that awesome? And then he goes on, has his meeting with the person, and the restaurant loves him because he tips well, and um, there's just good flow. And, and of course, you know, the restaurant gets to know you and know what you do. And so when people, in the course of you know ordering food or whatnot, they say like, "Hey, you know, I'm looking to buy a house." They're like, "Hey, this guy's here. We can connect you with him." Right? So stack appointments back to back. Isn't that fun? So and because I am always annoyed. Like, so my, I might stack my appointments like that, but my fear is, is that I won't wrap my appointment up in 45 minutes to be on time for the next one. Because like, I'd be embarrassed if I'd be overlapping and like, oh, you're waiting for me here, you know? But this way you actually purposely allow them to overlap for a few minutes, get them connected. And then sometimes even strategically say, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom, you know, meet Jill, meet Jack, um, and, and do a little introduction and just take off and let them have some time to actually begin the relationship. Isn't that amazing? I think the value of this book is already in just that one process. So get your day in the week that you're gonna do um, meetings at, at, a, at a restaurant and um, just be a connector. Because I'm telling you, when you're a connector, people remember that. When you have a reputation of connecting people and, and, and bringing value to them and helping them build their business, people are gonna remember that, right? Right? And so have a great weekend. These are the two books. I'm going to take this and kind of, you know, look at it a little deeper, but I'm going to read this book over the weekend. And uh, maybe next week I'll follow back and, and um, kind of flesh these books out. Um, also here at the end, what books are you reading? What books would you love to get kind of a, the, um, the short version of? I'd love to read a book for you and um, give you kind of the short version of that book so you don't have to read it. Have a great weekend, happy Friday. Looks like the sun comes out. Mow your yard, don't get behind like you did last weekend. This grass is growing like weeds this time of year. All right, my friends, talk to you soon.